All right, welcome back. In this video, we're just gonna go over a really simple separable differential equation, so it won't take too long. So first of all, let's write it here. We have y squared dy minus three x to the power of five dx is equal to zero. Okay, so hopefully you can recognize that this is a separable differential equation now. We have one term that's just a function of y with a dy on it, and we have another term that's just a function of x uh, with a dx, and it's all equal to zero. So all we need to do is just bring this 3x uh, to the fifth over to the right-hand side. So let's rewrite this again. We'll get y squared dy, so y, is equal to, now it will be positive 3x to the fifth dx. <clears throat> okay, so now all we need to do is just integrate both sides. We can simply integrate the left with respect to y and integrate the right with respect to x. So let's put in our integral signs. We have this one, and on the right hand side we can put the 3 on the outside because it's a constant. So we can go like that. Alright, so let's integrate the left side. We will get uh, y to the power of 3 over 3, or times 1 third. Uh, well, we're not going to write the, the constant here. Well, we'll just bring it over to the other side. Um, so now here we will get x to the power of 6 over 6, and this is also all times 3. Uh, and now we can lump both of the integration constants into the one arbitrary constant. And we're almost done, actually. Now, just to clean it up a little bit, let's just multiply everything by 6. So we'll get 6 over 3 times y cubed is equal to 6 times 3 over 6 times x to the 6 plus 6 times c. But this c is an arbitrary constant. It could be any number. So 6 times any number is kind of meaningless. It's still just any number or still just an arbitrary number. So we'll just get rid of that in the next step. So 6 over 3, that is 2y cubed is equal to 3 x to the power of 6 plus c. And there we go. That is the general solution to our differential equation. If we had initial value conditions or initial conditions, we could uh, simply find the actual solution, but we didn't do bother doing that. So anyways, just another video about separable differential equations. And join me in the next video, and we'll go over an example that's a little bit tougher. All right, see you there.